Peace. Welcome to the Universal Network. I'm Zeus the Shining. Today's show is uh, how to maintain your copper and get it polished and shined up at home. Copper is a non corrosive metal, meaning that it oxidizes instead of, ro instead of rusting. Um, oxidation occurs when um, copper comes in contact with oxygen and moisture. Uh, basically, it forms a thick brown coat, it's only on the surface, and it doesn't take any more damage. Uh, the second stage of oxidation is patina, and you know that from like green stuff, uh, Statue of Liberty, tops of buildings, a lot of buildings that have domes, copper, or bronze, or, or brass. So what I'm going to show you today is how to remove that at home. So if you already have copper stuff that you like shined up, or if you have jewelry from myself or anybody else, this is how you're going to shine it up. Now, uh, what you're going to need is acid. Uh, this here is vinegar. It's been used a couple of times. You can see it's oxidized. Uh, there's some videos on YouTube on how to use this to do some other things. But uh, today we're going to use it to remove the oxidation off the copper. Um, I add a little bit of salt to it usually. Just some regular table salt. I add our salt. Works fine. It's, it has an acidic uh, effect as well. Uh, any natural, uh, anything with citric acid will work just fine. Uh, tomatoes, hot sauce, ketchup, lemons, limes, all that stuff is naturally acidic. I've used fresh tomatoes and, lo and lemons and limes in the clutch. So those work just fine. Uh, vinegar seems to work the fastest, especially with a little bit of salt. Um, so I have that in this glass. And in this glass, I just have some regular water. Um, it's good to heat it up. I usually uh, put some on the boil, or the simmer at least, or I get everything else ready. And it just makes it shine a little bit more. Uh, then you're gonna need a towel to dry it off with. Right, um, these are items. This item was recently polished. So you can see there's no oxidation on that in comparison to something like this. It's been an oxidized. You see it side by side. So first thing you're doing is just simply enough, drop it in there. Um, like I said, the vinegar works, works pretty quickly. In a matter of seconds, you start to see the oxidation remove. You start to see something going on. Yeah. Yeah, you see. And you see the bulk of the oxidation is already gone. So now what I'll do is shake off a little excess and drop it into water and remove that, uh, remove that solution and remove the vinegar. Because if not, uh, basically what will happen is it will speed up the oxidation process and it just go right to the tin. And that comes in handy if you want that kind of look. So you take it out of the water, drop it in the towel. Now when you're drying it, it kind of works like a buffer. So like the, the better you, uh, the more pressure you apply, the shinier it'll be. And again, like I said, the hotter the water, the more it'll shine up. Anything that has a copper base, this will happen to you. You can do this with pennies or all kinds of stuff. Anything that has copper, even brass or ta-da. All the oxidation is gone. A matter of seconds. So you can do this at home. You can send it to me or whatever works. Um, let's do one more. Yeah, I'm going to do one more piece, but it's all good. You get the idea. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hope it's beneficial. If you have any questions, send me a comment, yo. Bless.